You know, the Albert Sherman Center dream is about to become a reality. We, uh, we talked at the very beginning of the process how we would create a structure where the sparks of innovation would fly. Well, that's uh, soon to occur for those of us who have had the opportunity to be into the building. We actually see it taking terrific shape. The laboratories have come together beautifully. The public spaces are being completed. And it won't be long now before we're occupying this really terrific education and research space. The Sherman Center is on time and on budget. You know, we're working very closely with the uh, um, Suffolk Construction Company, PMA, our project managers, as well as the, the Building Authority, to ensure that we all complete by the time that we said that we're going to complete. And that is the uh, midpoint of December uh, 2012. You're seeing the finishes going into the building now. So we're past the, uh, the structure, we're past the facade, we're past the heavy duty mechanical and electrical, and we're now the focus is heavily on the finishes as well as the commissioning of the building. One of the great opportunities we've had with the Sherman Center is that the design of the building followed shortly after the design of our new curriculum. So we, in fact, have designed the building to fit the needs uh, of our students. The Sherman Center will really be the center of campus life uh, as well as being uh, an innovative uh, research hub for advanced therapeutics. I like the idea that I, when I came here uh, 14 years ago, we were just witnessing uh, a real uh, acceleration in the quality of great research science. And now the fact that we had to build a new building to accommodate all the people who are here and that we want to recruit uh, to do world-class research really says that we have uh, reached that, that upper rank where we're bursting at the seams with great research. Well, I think this new building is going to be terrific. I mean, it's just, first of all, it's just physically beautiful. Um, and it's also going to be the center of campus. We're going to have practicing physicians side by side with bench researchers and also bioinformaticians and, and computer scientists. and. So the, the mix of people that we have in there is just going to be really exciting. Uh, and my feeling is you bring a lot of people together, they start talking to each other, and good things happen. Right around the middle of January, we're going to start moving some of the first researchers in the building. It'll be a very exciting time. The whole move-in schedule is going to take us four to five months. So it'll bring us right into the, year, the early part of the summer of next year as we finish off, move everybody in here. One of the things we're all excited about is how quickly we're going to be able to get into the building. Yes, it'll be ours in the middle of December, but it'll take us a, you know, a few months in order to be fully moved in. But I think the one thing we should all recognize is we're going to have an absolute world-class laboratory, research, and education space that'll help us to uh, fulfill our mission for decades to come.